sparked worldwide attention. Millions viewing the viral pram meltdown outside a Gold Coast super cheap auto. G'day Overachievers, look before we get too far into this video, I would like to waste absolutely no time at all before I tell Super Cheap Auto to go and get fucked. I am so angry ladies and gentlemen, I could absolutely spew at the treatment from this company of an Australian hero. Look, I'm sure by now we've all seen this footage getting around the internet. An ugly confrontation outside a Gold Coast store. Now look, if you haven't seen this video and you don't know what's going on, basically this human sack of shit has taken a pram in a super cheap order to pretend she had a baby just so she could flog some disc rotors and whatnot. Now, here's where she went wrong. She only pretended to have one child. Now, we all know looking at a woman like that, that just absolutely is not true. This lady either has zero children because she is barren as fuck for consuming a cocktail of narcotics every day, or she has about a dozen of the little pricks from having a third grade rugby team just run through her like a train after a big semi-final win. Fortunately, the man in this video, the store manager of the store in question, Mr. Darren Wolf, was also clever enough to make this observation. So what does Darren do in this situation? Well... He proceeds to confront the lady and call her out on the bullshit of not having a child. Let go! Let go of me! You you me. me. I love how this big old fucking jizz bucket of a woman breaks character for a moment. She's like, oh, I have your fucking rotors back. But then she she kind of realizes what she's done. She snaps straight back into the character screaming, don't touch my baby! Fucking... Is it any wonder the whole Believe Women slogan never really got legs? Now, we're not sure how this video ends because it cuts out, but you can see the woman walking off as another employee collects the rotors. But is Darren rewarded for this heroic act of stopping this fucking cunt of a woman? No! They sack him! They fucking sack him! So that means this prick got punished more than the thief herself. All because Super Cheap Auto have a policy, and look, I get it, I think a lot of stores have this policy, where basically, you can't confront a shoplifter. You've got, you've got to just let them take the shit, basically. Which is fucking bullshit, because it's all to do with protecting the, the staff and the customers, but this person's not a customer. She's a fucking thief. She should have her face stomped in that... See that gutter there? She should have her face stomped in that gutter until she's unrecognizable, and that goes for any fucking thief. Or, here's a better idea, better idea. We bring back stocks, you know, you put your head and arms in, you hang like that. Basically, we bring back stocks, we put them in the middle of the town, and whatever you were stealing, the townspeople just line up and hurl at you. So in this case, this lady was stealing rotors. So everyone just lines up and just hurls rotors straight into her face. That's a fair punishment, I think. Super Cheap Auto's decision sparking fury online with calls to boycott the company. I am so pissed off at this news, I am now refusing to shop at any super cheap auto. Unless I can't get what I need somewhere else and then I'm forced to go there, but I will not be happy about it and I will only buy the object that I need and not a single thing more. And this could cost super cheap auto potentially $150 a year. Fuck you, super cheap auto. Look, thankfully though, Things have worked out for Darren. Like, he may have been let go from Super Cheap Auto, but this prick over at Autobahn saw what he did and gave him a job instantly. The incident catching the eye of Michael Farrar, owner of rival store Autobahn at Burley Heads. In business, you can measure a lot of things with KPIs, like performance and that, but loyalty you can't measure. So I just thought he's a very loyal kind of guy, and it's the sort of person I want on my team. That's a man who knows a good employee when he sees one and will hopefully appreciate Darren for the fucking hero he is. Because quite frankly, Super Cheap Auto should have gave him a fucking medal made of blowjobs. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end this video, a quick word from my first ever sponsor. Strap in for super specials at Super Cheap Auto. Like if you're too shit for a car, why not get a mountain bike just $149 off fucking free if you just take it. You want degrees, like have some degrees of seven bucks off free. We don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, awkward. In all seriousness though, I'd like to end this video by saying, shop at Autobahn, fuck you super cheap, Darren, I hope everything works out for you, and until next time, ta-ta and farewell. Ta-ta and farewell.